Jack's Ramblivitz. Welcome back, everybody. We are here once again for another trip down memory lane. This time, since I'm going in a chronological order of sorts, we're going to hit upon a very old video that was definitely one of the funnest exploits that, in early 2 ptt history, literally right before Russia. This was the most in-depth I ever got with an exploit, and I was super eager to show it off. So in a lot of sort of ironic ways, it's a mirror of the previous video I made two weeks ago about the Trident Fly exploit and how I became 2B2T Aquaman or whatever flying through the sky with a Trident. Really fun idea. Well, this is when Elytra first came out. Um, this is literally two or three days after they became legal. And after that, oh my lord, the amount of things you could do with Elytra was just unreal. Um, the only reason it was kind of overshadowed for several months was because it was easier to boat fly because you could boat fly simultaneously. Obviously, all it took was five planks of wood to make a boat and the world was your oyster. But the value of having an elytra and being able to go just as fast as a boat, I wasn't sure, I never really experimented with it, but I wouldn't have been surprised if using an elytra you could also use the V-clip, which is what the nerds used. They were in boats and they would use V-clip to go upward and downward to get above and below the nether roof, and that's how they did a lot of their traveling. So I wouldn't be surprised if you could elytra V-clip back in those days. But I don't know for sure because I never bothered to really suss it out, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, for a little while there, I had a very neat little private elytra fly. And so this is me spazzing out about that, and uh, this is me showing it off to my base mates who were living at Space Valk 2. Obviously, you will get to see Space Valk 2. I believe this is right around the April 1st-ish time frame, and this was the first year, I believe, ever since 2012 when April 1st maps were introduced as a trend. This year was the first year, April 2016, that we didn't get any sort of April event of any kind. And it was very sad, but like, you could tell how Smash slash George Bush, whoever it was that was really in control, just didn't know what they were doing. Also, they were pandering to the nerds simultaneously at this time. So maybe that took up all this time. I, who knows? Who really knows? I still have a feeling there are details from this time period that have yet to fully come out. Um, either way, though, really interesting sort of early type of fly exploit. And just for context, we had not had a fly exploit since like that same time, 2011. So April, May-ish of 2011 was the last time one could legitimately fly on 2B2T for the longest time. And it was one of those exploits where we just kind of waved it off as, well, it'll never come back. <laughs> Rather ironic now today, isn't it? Man, it's, it's really truly funny. Time is a flat circle, am I right? All right. So I decided I'd do this video for kicks. Um, what you're seeing is not a hoax. I'm not in free cam. And I can prove it. Oh wait, that's right, I can't, because there is no free cam in V1.9, thanks Kino. But no, seriously, like, th there is no earthly way I should be able to do this, and yet here I am, I'm fucking doing it. It's amazing, isn't it? So, uh, in case you're wondering, this is the island, uh, pretty nice place we got here. I built it all by hand from the ground up, way down there, at layer zero. All solid stone, silver helped. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's fucking amazing. Um, oh my. Oh, seeing this place again in real time in the old versions of Minecraft, because this was like 1.9 now. This old version of, uh, Nova especially, it's just so wild. Oh man, I miss this place so much. And you can even see the uh, Space Valk 2 uh, main base there in the background. Uh, it just really like cements that, that nostalgia really hard. I originally built this base to be designed after a location from the RPG Chrono Trigger. Uh, it was one of my favorite parts of Chrono Trigger. It was when you go up into this sky palace area where these big um, castle town-like cities were floating on top of these big chunks of land way high above the clouds. It was really a very beautiful place. I planned to make the entirety of that kingdom from Chrono Trigger. The problem was it was just so tedious to put all the stone together together and to make all of the land masses and in the right order and manicure them to look appropriate to how they appeared in Chrono Trigger. But obviously in person in a more, you know, one to one to one scale, 
uh, the overworld map in Chrono Trigger was probably like 1 to 20, or some really, really large scale like that. So translating that into Minecraft was not easy. I really should retackle this project someday. I don't know. Of course, you've got the stash. Uh, that up there is just the skydive. Uh, you just jump off of it. Um, so I am flying with my elytra. It does degrade the elytra as you fly. If you watch the chest uh, over here, you'll see that it will slowly decrease. Um, yeah, there's not much to it, really. I could land in there, but I don't care to. Uh, the TPS. Wow. When's the last time you could open the uh, tab list and just see a normal set of people? The funny part is I only recognize like three or four names of these regular 20 players. But it's still just funny to think about. Also, I can almost guarantee you none of you have played, or next to none of you, when there was the option to just open the tab list and it was a very small smattering of folks. Like, I, I, this is probably one of the last times I unironically accidentally captured on film one of the last times you could just open the tab list and be like, Oh, there are 20 people online. That's a decent crowd. It's so weird to think of it in that term. But like, yeah, this is late April 2016, so in a month's time, we'll be right on the doorstep of June 1st. Like, one of the last times captured, historically speaking, where you can just open the tab list like it ain't no thing. Truly wilder times, weren't they? Oh man, 9.7. Terrible. But hey. Um... So what I'm doing is basically I'm able to, oh, uh, the y, my Y value decreased, if you saw. Woo! No, seriously, I'm fucking doing this. This isn't even a joke. Like, I loaded chunks and everything. You can fly to new terrain. It's, it's like, it's fucking nuts. Like, I'm, I'm scared too, but at the same time, like, Holy shit. Uh, the only downside is you can't increase your height. You can only decrease it. And you will slowly lose height over time. Yeah, the ability to increase your height wouldn't naturally come about until literally a year later. But that's more or less why I made that big high dive area that went all the way up to the build height. And I knew that if I started up that high, you could effectively just long form glide really, really fast over a rather sizable area. I even remember flying out to Fitz, uh, Detroit Flight City, which was the uh, very small end base Fit made in 2015 or so. Uh, it never really got a whole lot of like awareness, but it was an interesting little place. I don't know, I think he kind of got his fill of the end after they announced the 1.9 content. But uh, I mean, I've been flying just nonstop and I'm not losing hunger. Uh, the elytra is slowly being damaged, but elytra can be repaired. I'm gonna get mending on this shit as soon as I can. Just like all sorts of crazy ass things. It's it's just it's unreal. I don't I am speechless as hell. This is a thing. Apparently there is a velocity limit though. You can't go too far forward too fast. Ironically, the server looks for that, but it doesn't look to see that I'm fucking standing in midair. Oh god, it's amazing. But yeah, uh, I just, I don't know what else to say. Uh, you can enable glide. I have it set to uh, the default. And you just... There we go. You have to tap uh, jump in midair for your wings to come out like that. Oh, surprise Skype ping. Wow, I missed that noise. off glide to resume ordinary velocity. <laughs> it's a little buggy because it's all server side and there's a fuck ton of lag right now. But uh, it works. Holy shit, does this work. Like, I could go up there. That's 255. I could fly to spawn. I could fly to a whole other quad. I could fly just about anywhere. This is crazy. I'm hoping we don't ever get discovered out here, but I don't know. So I'll make this video just because. 
Yeah, I'll give a smoke to you. Standard idiots. Uh, I've sorted as many of them as I can. All these guys are kind of just repeats at this point. I'm not sure if I want to kill them or not. I need more. I need a mending book. That's what I need. I may uh, plot basalt out here um, at the standard spot over Meow. And uh, just have him fish forever and ever and ever. Because apparently fishing is a lucrative business now. And since we have an auto fish, I mean, I may as well use it. Oh, this is all frosted ice. You can kind of tell there's a cracking animation on some of it. It's slowly updating. And uh, it's supposed to melt and turn back into regular water. But uh, yeah, I have frost walker stuff. So, I don't have it on, obviously. But uh, yeah, that's a thing. I want no slow, damn it. Oh well. In fact, I think I may try it. So, uh, normally when you jump with glide, you just get rubber banded because you're not supposed to be able to do that. But. Come over here. no fast ladder anymore, sadly. The good part about all this is, even though it is an exploit that'll probably be patched inside like a week, we can abuse the hell out of it. Uh, we just need a good dupe. We'll be set. like waiting for the uh, hill part of the roller coaster. Kind of. No, the lag is still very much here. Jesus Christ, it's gotten lower since I last looked at it. It was a good um, 14 just 30 minutes ago. So you can kind of see over there. We'll be uh, we'll be going to that in a minute. But uh, for now, off we go and fly. And there we are. I'm at 250. You can see the edge of the beams. Oh, 249. Probably turn the light off. You know, I've just been sitting here for the last five minutes watching the chat, and like, I'm having a lot of nostalgia about how crazy some of the people in chat used to act. And yet, funny enough, like, I also find that, especially recently, there have been just as many crazy little conversations going on in main general 2B2T chat, like, for a while now. So it's really kind of funny that, you know, the more things change, the more they really do stay the same. You know, I've become painfully aware of that as of late. I've only fallen like seven blocks, six blocks, something like that. That's like piddly fall damage, next to none. So even if the server decides to just deal fall damage to me, which it used to do with the old glide exploit, even then it wouldn't fucking matter. There's, there's hardly any damage I would take from that. And if you ever want to sort of come out of this, like say your elytra is about to break, you want to make an emergency landing and you don't have ender pearls. So all you'd have to do is just turn on glide and uh, come out of the fly and just mash your jump button until you uh, your wings or elytron spread. Uh, elytra is plural, elytron is singular. Apparently it refers to the wings of beetles, how they have that hard outer covering. Yes, Professor Jack, the absolute fucking nerd here. Apparently, it's not actually Elytra or Elytron, it's Elytra. But like, you know, this was new to us back in those days. We didn't really know what that meant or what it was from. It's really quite silly now and 
barely anyone cares, but yeah, no, no, fun food for thought. Also, this in no way will stop me from pronouncing it as Elytra, as I've been doing that for literally eight years. So yeah, if you're uh, wondering what the hell this is down there, all this is the organization headquarters. And this is what I've been working on for the last month and a half. I originally was building on it back in October, November-ish. Also, as an aside, you can see that I'm kind of losing momentum due to the insanely low TPS we have. But oh well. But uh, anyway, I was working on this for a while, and uh, still am. I've been making killer progress with it. This place is going to be so fucking pretty when it's done. Holy shit, this is my magnum opus right here. I don't think I've ever made anything as good as this. Oh, past me. If only you knew how interesting things were going to be. Just a year later, I would be genuinely making my magnum opus. Really quite something, isn't it? To see where Space Falk 3 came from and, and what all we went through to get to where we are today. And this isn't even 50% done. Like, Jesus. This is going to be a huge fucking castle, just floating out here. I know it's going to totally get shit up someday. Someone's going to find it, I know. Like, I'm, I'm sad that that's going to happen. But at the same time, the thrill of making it is what matters. You know? It's the heart that counts. And, uh, oh, and another thing, do not fly into objects. You will take damage. Intense damage. Like, it's worse than fall damage in some cases. And I don't think there's a feather falling type enchantment to protect you. Regular protection will somewhat nullify fall damage, but only like a heart to two hearts. So, you will get fucked up if you're not careful. Man, flying in the age before totems was so harrowing. I remember landing one time when I was exploring the end, and I just took fatal fall damage out of nowhere. It was wild. I don't even think God Apples gave you enough absorption for extra hearts. I don't think that adjustment was made until later, and that was what made Gapples so much better. Also, this is like right after they nerfed protection from uh, the PvP stuff. So like now in 1.9, not only do you have the invention of the Ender Crystal, but also bed bombing starts up very shortly. And all of those sources of damage in 1.8 were like not good enough. Um, you would have had people in full prop four wearing a chest plate and everybody would have been gappled up and it wouldn't have mattered. But starting in 1.9, you can kill people so much more easily because the sources of damage count for more and the protection protects for less. It was really quite a, a very stark change from 1.8 to 1.9. Yeah, everybody hated 1.9's combat, but you know, I'm just saying like it makes it a lot possible. So yeah, I'm gonna land this baby. And all you really have to do is just gently land. Like you could land anywhere. Oh, I missed it. Oh, turn off glide. Here we go. Not a lick of damage, no problems. I can place a block. Oh, shit, that's right. Stupid dual wielding shit. Building is a pain in the ass with all this. 7.8, Jesus Christ. Uh, you should be able to shift click into this. It's too bad you can. But yeah, I mean. Also, uh, just as an aside, the render distance is not that far. You would not ordinarily be able to see that that far out there. We can't see the island from here if I reload the chunks because uh, Optifine will store shit in memory if you allow it to. I mean, I think it looks good. Things look better from a distance, too. Like, that thing looks like ass up close, but from a distance, it's actually not bad. So yeah, that's all that's really out here, I'm afraid. Um, I don't really know how to end this. I mean, 
this is just a cool little video for us. So. It's whatever. Don't don't do anything stupid. Bye. Yeah, a cool little video for all 17,000 of us, you know, and the other thousands of people who'd seen it over the years. Right. Anyway, and so in addition to that, I found a bunch of other little miscellaneous uh, clips, so I'm just going to go ahead and slide on over to those real quick. Oh wow, there's a lot like uh, creative mode flight in placing, isn't it? And here we get to see a rather interesting look into all the inner workings of this particular base that I was making. You know, one of these days I should come back and like finish it or incorporate it into another base and make it more complete feeling. I always hate leaving older projects on the back burner for literally years at a time and it certainly feels like that's kind of what happened here. And well, as we watch me fly around here at the uh, end of this little segment, 
I'd just like to take a moment to thank all those who have uh, supported me over the last several months since I opened my memberships, as well as if you, dear viewer, would like to support me, you too can join the membership for just $5.99 a month. So I'd like to give a hearty thanks to Amion, MCZ2352, Gam, Shoop, Orson, Pale Blue Zebra, Glubtubies, Raviable, Holmesy85, YOUKJL, Frenzy, Jam John, Hydracta, Rob, Know How, and Hit the Dash. Thank you guys so much for giving me a moment of your time and coming out and watching me do this. I enjoy taking a little look back into the old days of uh, 2B2T and enjoying all the older things that, you know, we used to do here on the server. And we still do kind of do them to a degree, you know, especially with things like the crazy new uh, Trident Fly and so on. So let us not forget, as I said in that video, you know, all the new fun and all the new things have yet to be had. So don't feel bad about all the old stuff we're looking back on and reminiscing about. Yes, a lot of this stuff was fun too and it certainly was interesting for the time and it's a good look back into history but never forget there's a lot of history that is yet to be created and if you stick around you can get to live a lot of it you can get to see a lot of it you might even get to make a lot so at any rate if you want to please stick around subscribe hit the like button and follow me on twitter or join our discord down below as well as just leave me a comment or a little thumbs up or something to let the uh, algorithm as well as everybody else know that you were in some way pleased with this little look back on 2016 2B2T. Thank you all so much and have a great day.